hey guys welcome back welcome back welcome back i know i know it's been a long time but towards life happens anyway this video was going to be about a quick when i say quick i mean quick and easy quick and easy roasted butternut squash soup i found this recipe online and i will link it down in the description box if i can remember where i found it now i preheated the oven at 375 for 40 minutes i cut the butternut squash in half took out the seeds and then i took a cover full or a tablespoon of coconut oil and i greased the cut side rub it down and get in every nook and cranny then i added salt and pepper and put it in the oven now it's actually supposed to be cut side face down but i realized that like two or three minutes after i put it in the oven so it was all good now i had to cut up i think it was a half of an onion and minced four garlic cloves making sure i get every bit every single bit of that garlic minced and pressed through and i'm gonna use all of it make sure i don't waste any this ain't forever need a shot and then a bead somewhere to let up some steam i'm not the one to say never never say never been playing it down but i'm so getting tired now won't you meet high cause i've been feeling feeling that like crazy and i'm giving you a good look to go the squash and it's all nice and ready to go and I've been needing, needing that okay i'm gonna add the oil to the pan that's a tablespoon of coconut oil that i'm adding in my onions and then i'm gonna add the teaspoon of salt then i'm gonna add in the minced garlic and cook that down in the pan <music> that down making sure everything's incorporated now once that's done I'm gonna add that to my blender and everything is going to be done in the blender I'm scooping out all of the butternut squash and I'm putting it into the blender I do that add some black pepper first and then a teaspoon of honey this recipe actually calls for maple syrup but I didn't have it so I substitute it with honey and this is our recipe this recipe also called for shallots but I didn't have any shallots so I just used onion and it still turned out really really good wanna break away let loose I'm tired of waiting gonna make that right here the recipe called for three to four cups of vegetable broth but I only had chicken broth so I also substituted that and I used the chicken broth still came out pretty good but I didn't add all of the chicken broth at one time I added in a little at a time I would add it in as I'm showing you here mix it up blend it Add in some more, mix it up, blend it. That was my little routine for this clip right here. Well, these few clips. And when I told, when I tell you that this came out very, very smooth, butter smooth, I was shocked. I mean, not really because my blend tag don't play. Don't play, honey. You see that girl in there? That's smooth, smooth city, smooth. That blended that 
squash. I mean, squash isn't really a hard thing to blend up and get pretty smooth, but honey, when I tell you all of those flavors were marrying together and working together and just the scent, the aroma of all of that oh, smells so good, tasted so, 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 so good. And it doesn't really take that long to blend up in the blender. You see how smooth that is? Oh, everything in fully incorporated. Now I'm plating it. I told you this is pretty quick. Plating it up and then I had a lot left over so I'm putting it in a pot to put in the fridge for yummy, yummy leftovers. No squash left behind. That spectacular I told you about my Amazon kitchen favorites video. Mm, mm, mm. This is where the magic happens right here. Not a piece. And even gets the cover. Every bit. And that's the end of the video. Told you it was not long. This is a very short, quick, right to the point video. And the recipe, like I said earlier, if I can find it again, because I did not save this, unfortunately, I'm going to try and find it online. And put it in the description box below but if not the video is pretty straightforward and you can go by my video if you really want to try this I hope you do try it because it's really really good and this is soup season honey soup season this is the time to be trying out all type different soups cuddling up watching a good show good movie soup season I'm definitely gonna get a next butternut squash so i can make this soup again because i haven't made it since then but i hope you guys enjoyed the video love you bye see you next time Come back, bye. Bye.